This is Shadow NC here today with Eric Scott Camille. How are you doing today? And you kind of sound point out. I'm doing really good. It's our my roommate and I, uh, Sarah Williams, we did two years prior to this, so this is our third year doing Anime Con, or fourth. I don't even remember anymore. We've just been coming here every year, and it's been a blast. We always have fun, so I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's always great. It is said that you have to be an actor before becoming a voice actor. Mm -hmm. Have you done anything as an actor? I have, actually. I, uh, I was in theater throughout college and high school. I majored in theater, actually, on my bachelor's degree. And theater was my first love, I'd say. Theater is what crosses over to voiceover. The skills that you learn in theater are what help you best, I think, in the voiceover field. I can't say I've done a lot of like physical acting since I moved down to California. No theater, no film, or I've done a little like background parts in film here and there. Uh, kind of how I got my SAG eligibility. But other than that, the only real physical acting I do now is professional wrestling. Honestly. When voicing for an anime, uh, do you watch the anime before or after you voice it? I try to watch it beforehand. I try to watch a lot of the anime I get cast in beforehand because that is a luxury we have nowadays we haven't had before. You know, the, when I started in this industry, Crunchyroll was just starting and it didn't have the library it has now. So now we can check these shows legally front to back uh, before even stepping into the booth. I try not to get ahead of myself because sometimes I, wanted to, I don't want to over-rehearse or overthink a certain scene before I get into the booth. I want the director to have some freedom to, you know, I want him to be able to mold me into what he needs. So I try to watch it a little bit beforehand, but I don't study it so often, I think. I just try to get a sense of it. You have voice for anime and video games. Mm -hmm. Which one would you say is more challenging or is it very similar? They both present their own different challenges. Uh, the one challenge I say is prevalent through both is the fact that you're working alone and you kind of have to imagine how people are reacting to your lines and how they're saying the lines that you are reacting to. So you are you don't have any kind of cues or anything, you're just kind of playing off of your own facilities. So both are challenging in that respect. Anime has the added challenge of having to match to lip flaps. Sometimes you'll get that in, in JRPGs when they have cutscenes, but that definitely adds to the uh, to the difficulty level of anime, especially over video games. So I, I'd say it's pretty even, but just the fact that you have that added, you know, picture, you have to dub to picture, that's what pushes anime a little bit above video games. A voice, is, a voice actor is like a singer. Mm -hmm. You have to protect your voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you have to yell, scream, and battle cry. Mm -hmm. Has there ever been a moment where your voice was out or can't get to the same tone as before after you scream and everything? Uh, there have been plenty. Of, we try to save the screams for the end of the session for that very reason. Like, if we ever come up against a loud scream, we usually preview it and go, okay, do we want to do this now or later? Um, <laughs> so... There have been cases where I, I pushed myself, and I was like, no, 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 let's do it now. And then I was like, okay, let's take a break. It, it wasn't too bad or anything. I just needed like a five-minute break to refill my tea. But they can be, uh, it can be detrimental, absolutely. I've done screams that can rival Dragon Ball Z. Of course, I haven't done it as long as those guys have. But, I mean, the decibel level, I'm pretty sure, matches and the length of the scream. What is your reaction when you watch the anime or video game? And you hear you coming out of the character talking. It, honestly, that's kind of my hardest part about watching anime and dubs nowadays. If I'm involved in it, if I'm not involved in it, I can kind of get lost in it still. I can still enjoy my, my friends' performances and everything. But if I'm in it, I'm hearing my performance. I'm thinking about what I could have done better. Oh, that line, I could have said it maybe a little faster. I could have said it this way, and it would have sounded a lot better in the context of things. So I'm always picking myself apart whenever I'm <laughs> listening to myself. So I, it's hard to watch any anime I've done <laughs> in English. Thank you very much for being mm -hmm. with us. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, guys.